creating shapes in Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to show you how to create all these shapes and also make them specific sizes. Uh, it's going to be useful for whatever it is that you're doing. You need to know this. So I'm going to go here. This is our shape tool. And if I just draw, I'm going to draw a square. It's not proportional by any means or you know, it's a rectangle basically. Um, however, if I hold shift, now we have an actual square. It's perfect. You can look up here, and those those two values are match. And uh, if I didn't hold shift, I draw a rectangle. Now, say I want to make a specific size. I can just click one time on the artboard without drawing anything, and I can make you know two inch by two inch square. Now, say I'm got this, and down the road I want to make it a uh, Two and a half inches. So I can just put 2.5, and there we go. This little chain link here makes sure that these two stay proportional. Um, if I was to undo the chain, now I can make it into a rectangle. See that? Um, now let's just dive back into the tool itself. Let's make a ellipse. So there you have it, like an oval. If I hold Shift, it's a circle. And same deal. If I want to. Uh, Change the size of this, you know, four inches, boom, there you go. That's a real four inch thing. If you print it at 100%, uh, it will print at four inches right on the money. If you're in a cricket, if you're doing whatever it is that you're doing with it, it's actual size, and that's a, a key. Let's go to star tool. And you can just draw a star, or you can uh, do a click, and then this will give you points, and this is the... The radius one and radius two. This the radius one is the outer part of the star, uh, and radius two is the inner part. You'll see what I mean in a second here. Um, I'm gonna go like 0.5, and then let's make a I don't know wild star. See that? So this guy is the uh, radius one. It's radius two. Whoops. Uh, it could be backwards. It could be the the opposite. But you get my drift. Radius 1, radius 2. And that's what that was. Uh, okay, yeah. Radius 1 is the outer. Radius 2 is the inner. And then you can add uh, how many... Yeah, this is really cool. Hmm. Three-pointed star. You don't see that very often. <laughs> but uh, I know we can also go right back up here. Make this guy bigger. See that? Five inches. Six inches. Pretty cool. And uh, let me see this uh, rounded rectangle. That's always good. And you can actually add the radius. So if you want, uh, you know, two inch uh, by, let's say, three inch, and then 0.25, a quarter inch radius. There you go. Well, you can see that uh, two inches high, three inches. It doesn't give you the corner radius here. But if you do click on this little guy in here, it will. See that? And you can... Uh, and you can drag those, you can lessen, increase them. So this little tool here is a, 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 you know, for manually adjusting them, it's fine too. Uh, but like I said, you can also uh, just add the exact radius from the get-go by clicking there. Boom. And that's about it for shapes. Uh, hope this uh, Illustrator tutorial helped you out, and have a good one.